In the last section, we explored the power formula, which expresses the relationship between electrical power, voltage, and current in DC circuits with purely resistive loads. Now we will combine the power formula with Ohm's law to arrive at another important equation, which is known as Joule's law. Remember for now, we are restricting our discussion to power in DC circuits with resistive loads. Later, when we consider AC circuits with loads that are not purely resistive, be prepared to expand your understanding of power beyond what will be presented here. We begin with the familiar power formula, which states that power is equal to current times voltage. Also recall the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance as stated in the three forms of Ohm's law shown here. Substituting for voltage in the power formula using the first form of Ohm's law, voltage equals current times resistance, we can rewrite the equation in this form. Power equals current times current times resistance, or equivalently, P equals I squared times R. This useful relationship is known as Joule's law. Here are some examples. A third useful relationship can be obtained by first returning to the original power formula, power equals current times voltage. This time we will substitute for current using the form of Ohm's law that is solved for current. Making the substitution, we see that power is equal to voltage divided by resistance times voltage. But this is the same as voltage times voltage divided by resistance, or power equals voltage squared divided by resistance. Here are some examples. Previously in this chapter, we explored Ohm's law and the power formula. Then we combined the two to arrive at Joule's law. Notice there are four distinct variables in this set of three equations, voltage, current, resistance, and power. If any two of these variables are given, the remaining two variables can be found using the equation shown here, along with a little algebra. Here are some more examples.